What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today we've got Brazil 1994 pack. Uh, Romario from t uh, July 13, 1994. It's a big epic pack, big epic card for him, big time player pack. Cafu and Bebeto. We already have had Cafu and Bebeto out. Bebeto is actually available on the shop uh, for eFootball points, as far as I know. Uh, if he's still there, maybe I'm mistaken him with a different player. But anyway, yeah, the draw of this one is definitely Romario. So you get 150 players in this pack. It's 100 coins per pack. Look, a lot of people are going to ask me, is Romario worth spinning for, right? I mean, only you guys can answer that. Are you going to potentially spend upwards of 10,000 coins on this guy? Because unless you get extremely lucky, you're not going to get him within 100 spins. Uh, you know, I've heard of people getting him within, you know, three spins, four spins. And I've heard of people that will spend, you know, spin 148 times before they get him or 49 times to get him on the last spin. So, I mean, it's a complete, it's completely up to you guys. Now, do I think that Romario, that this card is, you know, like going to be absolutely broken? I think myself personally, I'm a little biased because I do think that Romario is probably the best card I have used in the game. Um... I have the legend version of him, and he's he's just unbelievable, man. Now, this card itself, right, this Romario card is equally as good, if not better. I am slightly disappointed with the player skills. I would have liked to have seen a couple of more player skills there just for this card. Maybe give me a kind of a long-range uh, shot or long-range curler or something. I know they're trying to keep the cards very balanced. In fairness, they do have them balanced, uh, which is why Romario is on standard form. That's what keeps this card from being completely broken. But look, trust me, lads, I've had Romario since the game launched, his his legend version, and I don't think he's been down like five games out since then. Like he's been, you know, normal form or else up because he does have that B rating, which seems to have a higher uh, chance of giving you a better, you know, uh, form arrow in game than the actual form there does. So the rating of B, I think, is more important than the form standard. So yeah, but look, he's got absolutely incredible stats, lads. We're going to go over to eFootball DB here and just check out this card when it's fully maxed up, right? Now, there's two different ways you can you can kind of level it up. Um, I'm going to be bringing a video out very, very soon, probably today or maybe tomorrow, on, like, training up cards. I see more people make, uh, like, so many mistakes when they're training cards up because of their obsession with getting the card to the max overall. Now, Romario goes to a 98 overall, which will obviously boost up to 100 with the team playstyle over 98 itself, right? 99, 100. But I don't think that that's the best version of Romario. And I'll tell you why, right? Romario is not going to be a threat in the air. I've played over 200 matches with Romario. I do score headers. Yeah, I do score headers with him. But that's more kind of like just free headers in the box. The majority of goals that I score with Romario and the way you guys should use Romario is basically a run and gun. And what I mean by that is that when you get the ball at his feet, you're either one touch passing to bring somebody on so he can run off the shoulder of the defender or else you're literally turning uh, really, really sharply with him and spinning your defender and shooting. Like you should never have Romario out anywhere away from the box. I've scored so many goals with Romario doing those two methods, either off the shoulder, runs with the offensive awareness really high, and then when I get a one-on-one, -on -one, his finishing stats are so good that he just finishes his dinner every time, um, you know, he doesn't leave any scraps on the plate, or else you're going to be bringing others into the game, which you don't need low pass uh, accuracy for that, so when I'm training him up, there's two ways I train him up, right, firstly, forget about getting him to 98 overall, there's no point for where I would definitely recommend you train him up, right? Because we want the four golden stats here, which are offensive awareness, finishing, acceleration, and balance. People do get a little bit obsessed with, you know, speed, and they get obsessed with kind of having that finishing higher than 90. I'm telling you, you don't need finishing higher than 90 leads. If you can't finish with a, fi a striker that has 90 plus uh, or 91 or 90 finishing like then you need to you need to improve uh, your finishing and your composure in front of goal because he will slot in 90 percent of chances that are you know there to be finished i'm not talking about goal saves or i'm not talking when the game uh you know like craps in you or anything like that i'm just talking about actual finishable chances like he will finish them for you so you can train him up both ways right you can train him up with you know seven points into shooting to bring him up to up to 90 finishing and 80 curl i think that's probably the best way to do it we're going to get six into dribbling here if you want to 85 speed uh comes from the nine into lower body strength and nine into dexterity and that gives you these stats here now if you want to right 
you can actually get rid of the dribbling a little bit. I don't think you need the dribbling stats this high. And if I was training this guy up, I would probably keep the dribbling at 80 there. So I'd have 84, 80 and 83, which gives us another five points that we can mess around with. And that obviously means that we can put one more into dexterity and we can put one more into shooting. So if you are, you know, wanting to get his curl up a little bit, you could do that. You also, if you want to, and you want to kind of be more of a passing, you could bring that up to 70. So there's multiple ways to train him up, but I definitely would be recommending that you get his shooting to 90, his dexterity, um and lower body strength 10 and 9 into that or else 9 and 9 and then you can kind of mess around with the passing and dribbling yourself because if you do pack this card lads do not train him up wrong trust me he is a game changer him and Mbappe and you know a couple of other legends are probably the best strikers in the game that you should be scoring with more often than not so if you do get him make sure and train him up exactly as you want to train him up how you use him you know there's no point training him up to be a 98 overall because it's not the best version of the card in my opinion for how you should use him moving on we've got Cafu again a fantastic player this actually could be the pick of the pack lads again Cafu unbelievable stats like I'm talking unbelievable stats and we've got a, a similar situation with Cafu because you can decide where you want to train him up if you want to use him as a crosser he does have cross in here if you want to use him as a crosser we can do that like obviously with the with the he doesn't have he doesn't have early crosser here but he does have pinpoint crossing and he also has super sub which is a very interesting um an interesting kind of player skill for him to have he has unwavering form and i think the big thing about him is just his stamina and his actual engine and getting up and down the pitch so if this was me right i would be definitely training up cafu um in this way if you wanted a, a defensive player where we've got 12 progression points put in to defending or 12 points training points put into defending um and then you've also got 95 speed 97 stamina 92 acceleration um his physical contact is a little bit low there but you have 81 aggression your dribbling is is quite decent as well but the low pass and lofted pass is quite low his offensive awareness is quite low if you wanted to have him a little more attacking so that is the defensive side uh of Cafu that i would train up if you wanted a defensive you know right back that's the best defensive side of him in my opinion but if you wanted to go a little bit more extravagant say right we could actually have because his aggression stat is fairly high there as it is we could actually just top this up to maybe about 77 and then have the rest of his defensive stats there we don't really need to worry too much about the physical contact if we are going to be playing as a right midfielder whereas this is what i'm going getting at with this card here you don't need to worry too much about the defensive side of it right so we've taken away the aerial strength we've reduced the defending down to eight points and then that leaves us with a lot of other points that we can pump in so we're putting two more into passing two more into dribbling that gives us seven progression points left and then you can decide right do you want to have uh, you know more points put into dribbling or passing or do you actually want to boost out his lower body because you can get his stamina to 99 and you can get his speed to 97 uh, which will come in handy if you're tracking back a lot you know with the stamina but i think 97 stamina is enough because if you do get a good player form arrow that will bring, boost it up to 100 but if you do want to actually boost this guy up i would say uh boost it into his passing let's put two more into his passing you'll have one left over you can throw onto that and you're going to have lofted pass at 80 which is going to make him a 96 right midfielder that's who his rating is there you can see there 96 overall and this guy with that pinpoint crossing with the engine that he has he'll be able to defend from a right midfielder position this would be perfect if you're playing a 352 and i think that those are the two best versions either defensive or offensive now babeto might go under the radar because of romario lads but trust me this guy looks incredible as well right absolutely insane stats that you could you you can use as a center forward i would be using him as a center forward and forget about his passing i never worry too much about passing lads i i just don't not with my attacking players if you are training the players up i you know you and you 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 are struggling with the passing then obviously you can reduce everything here just by one or two um you know and pump it into passing to bring his passing up anything over 72 73 low pass will be fine but i i don't think you need it trust me i don't think you need it it's just for my play style i don't really need it i think all you're going to be focusing on here with babeto is getting his uh his finishing his offensive awareness his balance his acceleration and speed up so if you don't pack romario um and you do get babeto or you wanted to try babeto out lads his stats aren't too far removed from romario he's obviously not going to be as good 
But the one thing I like about Bebeto is that he does have uh, a lot of nice player skills and he also does have unwavering form, right? So as a striker, that is very important to have that unwavering form because if you're not carrying that many strikers on your bench... Um, but the player skills, this is what I'm talking about. He's got one touch pass, so that reduces the need for upgrading his passing too much. He's got true passing, he's got first time shot, he's got acrobatic finish, and he's got long range shooting. So he's probably a more complete striking option than Romario if you are playing in a very particular way. Like, or unless you're playing in a very particular way. He's a bit, he's a bit taller, obviously, than Romario as well, and you're not going to really notice the lack of, um, you know, speed discrepancy between these two cards. So, yeah, I think it's a really good pack. Obviously, I don't know will I spin for it because I do have a Mario. If I didn't have a Mario, I probably would. I would love Cafu, but I probably will wait to see, um, you know, because I do have a lot of options right back with Kimmich and Cancelo. So, yeah, that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. I hope you enjoyed this review and how thorough it was. If you did, make sure and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in a bit.